back. Myself, Michael Craig, joined in the commentary box with Scott Glanders. How are you? I'm good, thanks Scott, how are you? I'm there, I'm there. Uh, well, I just enjoyed that brief break. Yep. So, uh, this matchup is the women's exception semi final. First semi final between Neve Maher and Keir Maloney. Both from Harlem. Keir Maloney are number Keir one seed, and Eve Maher is not the number one seed. I'll tell you that. So obviously, back to back Keir Maloney for the win here to get the W. But with boosts like that, you know, Neve will be in very good stead for the, the W. So early, early exchanges here, it's 3 1 now. So it should be quite an interesting battle, Scott, yeah? Yeah, well, I don't think I've ever seen Neve play before. But I've seen Kira play my sister a couple of times. And, uh, she is a lot of Good exponent of height. Uh, that's going to be a stroke. Sand out 3 5. Four point. But she has hit the tin. Kira considers herself a bit lucky there, but for the first time in the match, she is in the lead at 6 5. Plays the boast, needs on to it, but she has got a bit excited there and she has rocketed out of the court. 7 5. Well, uh, quite a tight first few points. Yeah. Well, uh, it's quite interesting that. There you go, 8 5. But uh, Neve started off 5 1, and now I just look at the score. That's 7 in a row, if my maths is correct. So, two considerable momentum shifts by both players. And Neve really needs another burst of 3 or 4 points with that, as Scott has just stated. Lovely low cross court drop, 6 8. That trick of boast springs up 9 6 for Keir Maloney, our number one seed. Also has an Irish senior women's cap. Been on uh, two trips with the Irish women's team to Amsterdam and uh, Italy. Two trips that I've actually accompanied her on. She's just good fun off the court and uh, a pretty good player on it as well. There it is. First game 11 6. Quite an interesting game. Neve, after a very fast start going 5 1 up, never really got it back. Kira started asserting her dominance. First game taking 7 minutes. Kira only went to 11 6.
call you my cool as I'm good, but we ain't cool. You think you're jumping in, you just think you're dead. I'm the type of man that might go broke for revenge. That's a not so nice way to kick the door off the hinge. Take the door off your beard. I put my phone with your friends, man. Please, this is a cynical. I'm in all subliminal, I'm physical, financial, and mental to be a gentleman. Hey, the mama comes you on a slow job. Not the type he in the tank, but in the flow. Please, I'm in the zone like AIDS full blown. I'm killing it like a blind man reading. I'm feeling it like serve with the one love advantage here against Neve Maher here at Mount Pleasant, semi-finals of the girls A section. One love. And that law brings up one love. That's going to be a stroke and it rightly is. So it's hand out, one all here. Scott, how do you think our first game went? Well, um, I think Used a lot of it. And, uh, Nothing wrong there. And, uh, she reaped the rewards from it. Yet again. Uh -huh. How do you see this game going? Well, it's a tough one because uh, Neve does go for the attack quite a lot. So with that can come quite a lot of risk and rewards. So it's hard to call, but. If she keeps hitting the tin like she is at the minute, she's not going to win. She's getting the obvious there. It's 4-1 here. Nine five. Neve one. just hasn't got going. Kira's starting to volley a lot more. Something Neve hasn't really done so far. It's a yes lap. Good call there by the ref because that was uh, she had the fishing rod out there, trying to get a cheap stroke. Stop the unforced errors. It's hard enough to beat Kira, uh, but to beat yourself as well, it's just twice as hard. So 7 1, now 8 1. That was a lovely shot. How do you, how do, if you were in the Neves corner, how would you uh, go about it? Well, you should start off the first game very well. She wasn't hitting the tip and uh, she was attacking at the right times, but she seems to be sort of going a bit short very often, quite and unnecessarily. And uh, against a player of Kieran Maloney's level, that's, you're going to get punished for that, as you can see with the score. 9 2 now. And she's, she's still the tip there, slightly off balance when she hit that. Always difficult. So Scott. How are you? I'm good, thanks, how are you? Uh, better not than talking to you. So, with that straight kill comes seven game balls for Kira, which she will probably convert, to be honest. Eve really going for that really shot there. This time it's working, but not an overly encouraging game plan going for straight drops from that. Uh, back of the court, so 
She's going to need six more of them to get level, but that was a thanks for coming. Here, I thought she was going to go short, and then she just uh, nice, lovely straight drive down the line. But there it is, lovely soft hands by Kira. Takes the second game, 11-5 in seven minutes. by two of the love. Neve's going to have to change what she's doing right now if she's going to get back in this. What do you think Neve is going to have to do if she's going to get back in this match? Well, I think she's just going to have to try and get back into the game. Try and volley. Yeah, I'd have to agree with that. She's, she hasn't been overly uh, enthusiastic across the middle. She's gone for her shots at the back rather than sort of front areas. But I uh, can't fault her, uh, her effort because she has gone for everything and she's held her centre the wrong way there, but she hit the tin, which is never good. So that's. Good with, yeah. Scott's favorite number is 11. For some reason, so it's one three here. Well, it's been a very open match, hasn't it, Scott? Uh, yeah. Well, both players going for stuff. And it's a really good to see. Yeah, Scott. Four, one. So, Kira Maloney really uh, pushing on here as she left off the second game. Now at five one. So uh, you can sense this match is maybe near conclusion, despite Neve's best efforts. And now we I think uh, where Kira is getting the joy is just from her lobs, as Neve's lack of volume is. Really, that's, that's the difference, isn't it? And it's almost sort of like a double negative for Neve. Uh, she doesn't really much anyway, but Kira's enthusiasm with the log really is the difference right now. 7 2, so Kira can see the finish line four points away. Neve's not going to stop trying, though. But there you go. 
I mean, it's not matter who you are. It's not the matter that corner. Oh, oh my days. Such lovely hands right here. Good touch. Not only a good lob, but a good drop as well, so it's 9 2. He can't be too disappointed. Kira really is showing why uh, she's an Irish ladies international. Stop. Yeah, I think the number one seed's gonna take this. I'll be ready. Well, at 10 to match ball, I would have to say, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say Kira might win this. Isn't it, Scott? Three ten. Yeah, well, you know, strange things have happened. True that. He's not giving up here. Oh. No. So. Four ten from the left. Not ten. Match ball. Match isn't over just yet. Well, well, well. We're not done here. Five ten. Three points in a row, she's gonna need five more, and that's not the way to get it. She's hit the ten, and with that, that's the match over. Cameron only wins 11 5, 11 2, 11 5, and always a thoroughly enjoyable game. Would you agree, Scott? Uh, yeah, I'd agree. Uh, for it, thoroughly deserved winning. Uh, yeah. You know, I... Would you back her to go all the way now, Kira? Uh, well, I don't really know who's in the other semi final, but. I'm sure that she's going to take some beating, that's for sure.